I'm not having fun right now. Morning folks. Welcome back to the channel. It is 5 a.m. and we are on our way to work. Now this is a lot earlier than I would normally leave, but since we can't take highways on Booger, we're down to surface streets and it's a 51 mile trip to work. I'm trying something different with the audio this morning. Uh, that strategy is called don't mess up. Uh, is it working? I guess we'll find out when I edit this. So I have two hours to get to work and it's an hour and a half away on normal transportation. So we'll just see what happens. I hope no chalupa cobras are out there are going to try to steal me. Oh, and it's foggy too? Fantastic! I can't see nothing. So if you're watching this and the video quality is like, oh man, what is he doing? Well, what you see is what I see, and that is basically nothing. Um, we're kind of flying blind here. <sighs> okay, well, we'll just go slow-ish and uh, see, see how we do. Everything's getting wet because of the fog. Maybe I need to put some fog lights on this. I was not expecting this uh, fog today. Now, I know there's a road here somewhere. The high beam doesn't really do anything in the fog, which I already knew, but I'm just trying whatever I can. I thought I was going to be slow coming back up the hill, but we seem to be at a snail's pace going down. I don't know. Is this dangerous? I mean, would you do it? Let me know. If you just give up. Of the five vehicles that we have at home, three of them have fog lights. The Goldwing has fog lights, the Subaru has fog lights, and the Ural has fog lights. This does not have fog lights, and it barely has a headlight. Probably not the ideal choice for morning shenanigans. Yeah, I think the fog is over. Oh man, that wasn't stressful. Not in the slightest. You know, I had an idea for this video in my head where we come around the corner and you see all the lights of the city below but uh, the weather and the clouds had a different idea. So we're not gonna see that today. Just a fat guy on a little bike going downhill in the dark. I wouldn't say this is the most pleasant commute I've had in a while. I'm wearing leather gloves and they don't do a very good job of getting the stuff off my face or the camera. Is it raining? It might be raining just a bit. I really don't know if you can see out of this camera or not. Uh, I'm doing my best. I can barely see out of my visor. I didn't bring anything to wipe my visor with. Hey Odin, if you're listening, how about you get some of them uh, little wipey things for my finger on, my, on these gloves so that we can just like whoop. Because the leather's not, not cutting it. Since the dawn of man, we have wondered, how much more difficult can we make it to commute to work? And I think this pretty much does it. Well, at least according to Google, we're not going to be late yet. If we were just normal human beings, we would take the Goldwing, and I can get to work on the Goldwing in about 45 minutes. But gas is six something a gallon, and the Goldwing only gets... 50 miles a gallon where this gets a hundred and something so that's twice twice as better right it seems like every time I want to ride a motorcycle to work it rains on me I should probably plan better or at least be more prepared I mean I'm mostly prepared the aero stitch doesn't care if it's raining I don't particularly care if it's raining but I need to wipe my 
Gotta be able to wipe my face and my cameras so you can see, otherwise uh, the YouTubes won't like it. So I don't know if you just heard that, but Google just told me to turn right after the McDonald's. And my question is, do companies pay Google to feature their business? I would like to know. Google says we've got one hour, one more hour to work. Wish I could see, can you see? Nobody can see nothing. But can you hear? That would be uh, that would be nice to not have crappy audio for once. Actually, we're building momentum on this channel, and the subscribers are just flooding in, and we want to get to a thousand. Obviously, I've mentioned that before. So I decided on a whim to go on Upwork and see if I could hire a marketing person or nothing too crazy, just to get the algorithm to see me more a little bit because you know everybody can use professional help and I contacted this one person and they gave me their port they gave me a few examples of what they've done and from their portfolio oh, and I ran I ran far far away as fast as I could because every channel that they gave me looked like they were buying subscribers and one did one on social blade didn't even have any information on them I don't know how you can have a channel that social blade doesn't know anything about but still have like a 20,000 subscribers, but generally speaking They were buying subscribers because nobody just jumps up 10 or 20 every other day for no reason uh, With 700 views on a video, so I ran we're just gonna We're just gonna be me and not not try to Get any professional help At least for YouTube's we could all use some professional help one way or another camera still going it hasn't died yet at least it's not raining enough where my external power has killed my gopros yet this is the worst i don't say this is the worst kind of rain this is this is it does i don't go fast enough for it to come off my visor so i can't see i can't put my visor up because then my face is just going to get wet it's very on brand for me i have no idea if any of this video is going to be usable it'll be fun for me to watch anyway well how else do you get an adventure on a work day we still got 45 minutes, so we got plenty of time. So I guess it's a good time to do a quick uh, review of these Odin Winter Gloves. I bought these gloves because they seem to have a higher insulation than some of the other gloves out there. They don't really keep my hands super warm. Uh, they're warm-ish, I suppose. I wouldn't wear them. I need something else if they're if it's going to be below uh, like 50 degrees, and they're they're leather, so the dampness doesn't help. So they're not terrible. You know, at some point it just gets old, and I just want to be able to see out of my helmet. Is it too much to ask for? I'm not having fun right now. Well, we've been at this for an hour and a half, and Google says we've got about 10 more minutes until we get to work. Well, it is now daytime. As you can see, it's a little after 4 o'clock, just getting off work. Being able to see goes a long way, I think, in uh, not being irritated by the drive. Of course, we're early, we're early into our trip now, so... It was fine once I got to work, but I was getting pretty miserable there in the morning. So now that we have a second at the light, I did briefly look at this morning's footage on my lunch break today, and I think it came out okay, maybe. Uh, the GoPros have been doing, I like the 8, so I bought a, um, I bought an 11, and that has been nothing but a disappointment. I got it on sale, and it's like, I skipped the 9s and the 10s, and I'm still running 8s, so I'll get an 11, and maybe be better or not a couple problems with the 11 problem number one is that it doesn't take external battery any of the external power banks that i have it needs more power so i had to buy a new one that cost more so yay for that so that's one demerit for the gopro 11. the second one is sure the battery lasts longer but it overheats if i put the gopro 11 on essentially any setting 10 uh hd 60 4k for sure it will overheat with a battery without a battery 
external power, internal power, whatever, it will overheat faster than the GoPro 8 will run out of battery. That means I can't run it on external power either, at least not for this kind of activity. And I thought about getting a 12, but I can't imagine it's going to be any better. So why bother getting a 12? The Bluetooth is somewhat unreliable for audio, and I don't have a Bluetooth connection anyway right now. I use an external recorder, which is a whole other conversation. So I feel like I lit 300 and something dollars on fire. Go me. I'll, or I'll figure something out with that GoPro, but not for this. Right now, my GoPro 8s are on film and me ride duty. Can somebody do a test with the 12 to see if it has better heat dissipation? I can't imagine why it would. It's the same camera. I feel like I'm being trolled by GoPro. So if somebody knows a way to make my GoPro 11 not overheat for using it in its unintended purpose, which is um, recording non-stop for hours or 15 minutes even. It was overheating with less than 15 minutes. Let me know. Let me know what I'm doing wrong. I mean, there's plenty of things that I'm doing wrong all over the place. Feel free to share your thoughts down below. Now coming home, if I'm, if I'm taking the car, it's about the same amount of time taking surface streets because the interstate is pretty backed up. If I take the Goldwing home, I can get home in an hour, maybe. And normally it's or it has been like 110 degrees and it's pretty toasty so you want to go faster than zero miles an hour i don't think i've ever had a rallies and i don't think i'm going to that one because it looks a little sad and now we're just going without a gps riding our motorcycles the way the pilgrims did on their way back from fraggle rock I mean, you just go straight until uh, you hit the road you got to turn on. That's pretty much every direction ever. So, that's what we'll do. I got super dirty this morning. You probably can't see too much of it on my, my onesie, but it's uh, I got pretty filthy. I got filthy, camera got filthy, phone got filthy, everything got filthy. But nothing stopped working. Historic Route 66. Also known as just another street. We are re-entering San Bernardino County. Goodbye, Los Angeles County. I'll see you next week. Okay, so the GoPro 11 is a major disappointment. But what isn't a disappointment is the Lumix camera that I bought. The S52X. I got rid of my Fuji X-T2, which is... I don't know, several years old. I think that's the X-T5 now, so what is that? Three, four years, five years old? And that was a that was an APS-C camera and primarily focused on photography, which I have not been using it for for the longest time. And we needed a video center camera or more video center camera for the tube tubes. The S52X, aside from the 900 page user manual, we waved to our biker friend. Hello, biker friend! I got a nod, good enough. So, the S52X has been, I've been really happy with it. I, the live stream that I did when I ate the chip, which I still don't know what to do with the rest of those chips, but I'm gonna do something with them. But that live stream, I stream directly from the camera to the internet with no wires or anything, which is convenient and good for lazy people like me who don't want to do multiple things. So the S52X, thumbs up. Uh, GoPro 11, boohoo, tire shoe. Is that a thing? I don't know. Why not? This actually feels wider than the Goldwing because the mirrors are stuck way out. Passing cars? Look at us go. So we got 98.5 miles. Comment below if you can guess how much gas it's going to take. And the reveal 0.8 gallons. 0.814 gallons into 98.5. I don't know, so what, we got another hour and change. Isn't Route 66 wonderful? Yeah, I'm going to have to measure when I get home or when I remember because with these mirrors, I might be wider than the Goldwing. 
I went on Odin's website and they don't seem to be selling these gloves anymore. These uh, Tufi, Tufi gloves. Or at least they're not available for purchase right now. They don't show sold out. They just don't have them. I like these gloves and you can't buy them now. So maybe I'll put them on eBay for a million dollars. Main Street, USA. Maybe that can be our thumbnail. Probably not. Can I scooch in here, folks? Can I do a little scooching? Just a little bit. Oh, there's a real motorcycle behind me. He beat me. I can never show my face at bike night again. Of course, I've never been to a bike night, so let the record show that I have passed people. Those people just had to be not moving. I could have beat that MT-10 if I went full tuck. And he went slower. Okay, people who live in California, those digital plates, why do you buy them? Aren't they like $45 a month? What could you possibly get? for your $45 a month value. Just give me the $45. That seems like a better option. It's better for me. For you non-Californians, you can buy, I don't know if you can buy them in other states, but you can buy these digital plates that have to be wired in or on battery or something and surrounded by off-roady boys. There it is, see? See that plate right there? That plate is digital. And I think it's $45 a month. And that is outrageous. I already have to pay what, three or $400 to re-register re my car every year. I don't want to have to pay $45 a month just to have a plate on it. Tell me why I'm wrong. I gotta be missing something. I don't know how I'm gonna do 100 or 1,000 miles on this. Social Blade says we're gonna hit 1,000 in the middle of December, which creates its own logistical issues. I had considered doing it ahead of time and then not releasing the video until we hit a thousand subscribers, but I think I'm, I'm gonna do it by waiting until we do a thousand. And then whenever we do the thousand, I will just jump on the bike and ride within like a week or two. I also don't know if I'm going to go a thousand miles in one direction or if I'm gonna do 500 miles turn around and come back but we still got a ways to go so I got time to figure it out I'm getting the extended tour of route 66 all the way through part of San Bernardino and Los Angeles County tell your friends how exciting it is there's another cop I'm oh, gonna do the head thing but just wave to the cop hi mr. cop it's not a very very manly wave but we don't worry about masculinity on this channel so I think we've established, at least in this video, we've answered a question that nobody asked. Can you commute to work a considerable distance on this? And I would say, yeah, particularly if that commute is downhill. We've been mostly flat since, but the uphill is going to be a separate challenge that we're going to have to address. But we're going to confidently say, yes, you can commute. And we're going to pretend like we don't have to go back up the hill. I'm told that you don't want to stay at the wigwam for reasons. I won't get into those reasons, but don't say I didn't warn you. You think I could go to a biker bar on this? I'm sure I could. We are now off Route 66. I know. Sorry to say it. Everybody's always, it's a conspiracy to kill my speeds. That's what we're doing. It's a conspiracy. Well, now that we are at our first turn in, I don't know, 30 or 40 miles at this point, I think it's a good time to end this video. Subscribe if you have any interest in seeing this kind of stuff. And even if you don't, do it anyway. And uh, I think it's a good time to 
unveil our new slogan that I've been saying for years, but we're actually going to use it on the channel. It's not always fun, but it's always an adventure. Here comes the mountain. I'll see you next time.